I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a thinking question on vectors application. The question here is given a equals to 1 minus 2 3 and b equals to 3 minus 1 2 find a vector c such that a dot b cross c equals to 0. Now that's the question for you. You can always pause the video answer my question and then look into my suggestions. Now let's try to analyze this question. We are saying that we need to find a vector c so that this is also called scalar triple product, right? We call this as scalar triple product equal to 0. Now when we are saying a dot b cross equals to 0, we are also saying that the vectors a, b, c are coplanar. Okay, let me, I just made the statement. Let me show you how. Now, a dot product is zero when we have two things which are perpendicular. Is that okay? And the cross product results into a normal, right? So, so if I have a vector, let's say vector B and uh, let us say a vector C, correct. So, so if I have a vector B and C with an angle, let's say theta, in that case, this, this is my vector B, this is C. So if I do B cross C, I'll get a vector which will be normal to both of them, right? So let me show that normal over the different thing. Let's say this is my vector which is normal to the paper, right? So this B and C are on this paper and this is the normal vector which is A, B cross C, right? Let me call this as normal vector N. Now this is at right angles to both of them. Do you see that? This is at right angles to both of them. Now, if I want a vector A whose dot product with normal is 0, that means A should be perpendicular to N, right? So, so we know normal is perpendicular to B and C vectors. Is that okay? Now, if I want a dot n equals to 0, this implies that A is also perpendicular to normal, right? So if A is perpendicular to normal, that really means that A is in the plane of B and C, is that okay? So B is, A is somewhere like this. So A is in the plane of B and C, so that becomes your A. So this implies that A vector A is in the same plane as vector P and C. Do you understand? And that's why we are saying that they are coplanar. I hope now this statement is absolutely clear. Perfect. Now how do you find C? How do you find C such that this a dot b cross c equals to 0 prevails. That's the question for you. Is it okay? How do you find c? So the idea here is we could find c as linear combination of a and b. Only then c, a and b will be coplanar. Is it okay? So that means, so what we are saying is that the vectors a, b, c are coplanar. Correct? That's what we have shown here. You can actually begin from this statement just as I started with. And this is kind of proof of this statement, right? Just to help you out to understand why we are saying that C, A and B are coplanar vectors. Now the second question here is how to find or create or write a coplanar vector. That is by linear combination. Okay, 
So linear combination of vectors results into coplanar vector. Is it okay? So we can say vector C could be uh, vector A plus let's say 2B for example. Right? So now that ensures that vector C, A and B are all coplanar vectors. You get my point? So I could create like this by doing linear combination. Is it okay? So that means plus 2 times uh, 3 minus 1, 2, which becomes uh, 1 minus 2, 3, plus 6 minus 2, 4, which is 1, plus 6 is 7, <coughs> minus 2 minus 2 becomes minus 4, and 3 plus 4, 7. So vector C could be 7 minus 4, 7. You can remember. You could have many such vectors since in a plane there are infinite vectors. So the plane identified by vector A and B will have a lot of vectors like C which you can get by doing linear combination. Is it okay? So the question is find a vector C such that this is true. So our answer is one of those vectors is 7 minus 4, 7. Is it okay? So that is one of the question, right? You could just add them up. You could write 4 minus 4, a uh, minus 3, and 3 plus 2, 5. That could be another answer. Is it okay? Many such answers could be there. Now, as an exercise, what you can do is you could check your result, right? So, so the question for you is check your result. So find scalar triple product of A, B, and C and check whether you really get zero or not. So that's an exercise for you. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you understood the concept behind doing such a question. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching.